Why do chaplains need to do ride-alongs? My name is Jared Altick, and I'm a chaplain with the police department. The reason that chaplains need to do ride-alongs is because we're trying to learn a couple of things. First of all, we're trying to learn the environment. Even if you're former law enforcement yourself, you've not worked under the current policies with the current equipment, with the current shift. There's all kinds of little environmental things that, that you're not aware of until you actually go out there. And being in the car and being with that officer, you get to see all that environment. You see what's different, what's changed, what doesn't meet your expectations, what is different than what you thought it would be. That's helpful. But the second thing you're trying to learn is the officer themselves. Spending eight hours in a car with somebody is a great way to get to know them. And even if the officer doesn't open up and share all their hopes and dreams with you and that first time you ride with them, uh, you at least give them the opportunity to see that the chaplain is a real person uh, who has just regular old interests and you can talk about sports or movies or whatever it is. It doesn't have to always be something spiritual. It doesn't always have to be something mental health. Uh, it can be something that that is just building rapport with that officer, and that's invaluable. Every ride along I've done, I walk away feeling like I now have a special bond with that officer. And some of those have then developed into legitimate friendships. Others, it's just, hey, I know that officer, I, ha I see them work, I see them respond to stress, and I feel like I have an insight. So that maybe, just maybe, if they have a crisis down the road, then they'll have somebody they can turn to that has seen the things they've seen and has been out there with them. Maybe there's a little bit of trust that's been built and I can be one of the tools in the toolbox that they can use so they can be healthier.